Busta, Black Thought, like what was what was the first conversation you had with with those guys on working together? Well, first conversation I ever had with Busta was at uh, like we had a show with Title. It was this crazy lineup. Like everybody was there. Andy, Nas, Jesus, Beyonce, <laughs> like everybody was there, yeah. bro. It was crazy. So, um, like we was like the bottom of the fine print of the bill. Um, Buster walked by our door and I heard him say, he read the paper, he was like, Flapper Zombies. He's like, my niggas is here. And he just bust down the door and he just gave me the strongest dap ever, nigga. <laughs> Fucking papers flying off the wall, posters is flying, and lights are dimming and shit. And then he was like, I'll fuck y'all niggas. And then nigga Buster, you gotta go. And he's like, nah, fuck y'all niggas. He said, I'm gonna come back and fuck y'all. And I was like, you ain't coming back. <laughs> and they pulled him out of the room. He's like, nah, I'm gonna come back. He ain't come back. <laughs> but he came back and gave me the verse, so you know that was that. And then with Black Thought, I actually heard the beat, and I went through a lot with that beat for that album. And I heard the beat, and I was like, "Yo, like Thought gotta be." I want to always want to work with him in general. I was like, "He has to be on this song. Like, it has live instruments. It just makes sense." He go bar crazy, and we just sent it over to him and him and his people, and. He was writing something, which I'm not allowed to say. I don't know if I'm allowed to say he was doing something very big. Very proud of him for that. And he took time out of his busy ass schedule to write that verse for me. So that was like in itself and made sure he sent the message like, yo, I love the song. Like, I'm going to finish this verse for you. I'm just doing this, this and that. And I got you. And he did it free of charge, you know, nothing. He wow. said, I got you when I need you. And that for, for me to know that he heard my verse and respect that shit and was like, oh, when I need you, I'm going to not. And like, that's very important to me, too, because I take my... My crap, very yeah. serious. What, where were you when you heard, do you remember hearing the verse back for the first time? Yeah, I was in Hollywood looking at some bums fight over my <laughs> and Yeah, you know, um, that ass, that was real too. Um, yeah. And you're just hearing him say between World War III and the <laughs> pandemic and you're like, like looking at this, this, like what? Yeah, I, de I definitely ran that back mad times and like, he sound potent. It's like, yeah. niggas like him make me just like, I can't, it's like, Getting older and better at this shit is like a goal of mine. Cause I, even if I stop doing this, I still want to be able to ever get on the mic at any moment and sound that good forever.